Hello my fellow guardians, this is Moluncha and welcome back to Destiny 2. Uh, no recordings for two weeks of Destiny, the two recordings for Dauntless. Uh, guess I'm gonna call it my, my summer holiday a little bit. I haven't played Destiny in uh, a week and a half even. Um, basically it was just way too, too hot, uh, like it was insanely hot. Uh, so yeah, I came back to Destiny 2 and we actually got uh, this message about, uh, yeah, you can already see it on the left, an event that was uh, happening right now. So let's uh, take a little look. So when I started up Destiny, I got this message today, Solstice of Heroes. Apparently I'm a little late to the show because it's uh, already going for a couple, couple days, maybe even a week. Now, like I said, I haven't played in a week and a half. Uh, so, Solstice of Heroes is the annual tradition to honor the sacrifices of guardians. Everywhere has come again. Gather and celebrate resilience of humanity's foremost defenders. Earn and upgrade exclusive armor sets to unlock an armor glow powered by your own light energy. Fight through the skies in the European aerial zone. Visit the Eververse for elemental armor armaments to change your look based on your playstyle, void, arc or solar. Complete the monuments of triumph for glory and loot. Visit Eva Levante in the tower. So yeah, uh, I already, uh, before I actually wanted to start with uh, Eva Levante, uh, who's uh, on my left here, I actually wanted to go to Eris for this week's uh, little talk and see what she had to say. But apparently in my recordings just now, like I've, I've, I've basically done them the last, last hour, last half hour, uh, there was no game audio and there was no microphone audio. Um, the last time I recorded, there was nothing wrong, but apparently something was wrong uh, about now. So not really sure what what went wrong between my last uh, Dauntless recording and the last recording I did on here. So let's quickly open the cipher here. Enigma's draw, I think that's the sixth time it dropped today. Uh, so yeah, let's talk to Eva Levante. Let's see what she has to say. Hello again. I've been hearing about all you've done for this city. People are talking. We've all lost so much since the Red War. But we can't let that stop us from celebrating what we have and the guardians who keep us safe. I talked to Ikora, and this year we have something special. A way to honor all the inspiring stories you've given the world. Go now, relive your glory, and friend, have a happy solstice. Okay, the holiday begins. Eva is glad to see you. She congratulates you for contributing to the defense of the city and then tells you that this year's solstice is special. Ikora, along with a small group of warlocks, have come up with an unusual surprise, but she's not spilling the secret, so you'll have to go see for yourself. Solstice Mask Renewed Helmet. Complete the EAZ. Uh, get precision final blows and defeat combatants. So a trial in the clouds quest step. Seasonal, the solstice begins. Uh, begins. Uh, ghost receives coordinates to a literal floating island somewhere off the coast of the Winding Cove in the European Dead Zone. It's been cheekily dubbed the European Aerial Zone. And apparently it's an ex excellent place to perform combat drills and meditate. Investigate the European Aerial Zone. Complete a run through the European Aerial Zone. New mission. What do we need to do? European Aerial Zone. Time remaining five minutes. Objective: eliminate mini bosses. Okay. So defeating mini bosses. Okay, and they're marked on the map, so that's not too hard. Let's see, find them. Do wonder if it's gonna be faster if we do it with multiple on one or just all move towards a boss on our own. Uh, 
how the hell am I supposed to? Well, it is a aerial zone, so I guess we go we go up. Cool. I guess we go up. Uh, that's not up. That's down. Can go through here? Can we? Yeah, we can. Look at that. And he should be. Over there. Let's go. So one mini boss so far. I do wonder. I do wonder what an average is that players get. So that's two. Wasn't supposed to go down. And let's go up again. So there's one down there. Okay. So we got three bosses. He died fast. Got another one over here. I do believe these guys are splitting up to take care of the bosses and not going at them in a group. So he's dead as well. That's five. Let's try to go look for the next one. Supposed to be this direction. Yeah, he's on top of the roof. We're gonna need to find our way back up. There we go. Yo, that hurt. Guess I can't underestimate these cats. It's another one down. Try to head to the next one. Somebody's already there. Where is you're over there? Come on, show me. Where's the next one? Oh, wasn't there one over here? Did I see correctly? And there's one below me. Damn it. Ooh, that was maybe not the smartest idea to get so close. We got 30 seconds left. I do want to kill this one. There we go. So we got 8 targets down, 9 targets down. Okay. So one more, 19 seconds. Not sure if I'm gonna be able to get there in time. Yeah, it's closed off here. I need to go around. There's one more this direction. Six seconds. Yeah, not gonna happen. Maybe too slow for that. Ah, he vanished. Okay, so how many did we have? Nine? I think we had nine. What's next? Eliminate the bosses. Okay, so now I uh, eliminate the boss, so it's a uh, single, singular. Let's deal with the riffraff. There's no time limit. Whoa, what the hell is that? Whoa, that hurt! <laughs> what an area of effect, holy hell. So just one boss, okay. Uh, I think that was a giant miss. 
that hit one hit. Oosh. Yeah, that hurt. Oh, he's dead. There we go. Does the wave block it or whoa 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 stop spawning right on top of me I heard you and targets neutralized whoa there's a second target where did you come from and a third target yo what a pushback What the hell is this one? What's happening? Yo, 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 yo! Whoa! No, you don't. Wait, what? Defeat the prismatic taken hidden nearby. Prismatic taken. Yo, I'm stuck! I'm stuck! Oh, get out, 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 get out. <laughs> Woo! Uh, that was a failed one. Yeah, they're guarding it pretty well. So we need to defeat you before I die. I only got two minutes to actually clear. It doesn't really hurt that much. Or it's just me. Right, you got him. Don't die. Feel like I've got an AOE glow around me. Solar empowered. Yeah, they're burning. This pushback, holy hell. Oh, we almost got that one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Irbasa. What your name is? Got her? Got one. That's two. Got her. Toss in an eight. Come on, come on, come on. Well, there is. Uh, I'm saying, come on, come on, come on. But yeah, there's not really a timer. All right. So objective completed. Courtyard solstice package. Let's collect. Collect rewards. New objective spawning in one second. Hidden chests, ten hidden chests. Okay, we had ten mini bosses, so is the amount of mini bosses that you do the amount of chests you can get? If I'm getting this correctly. Okay, we got five out of ten. Five more. Solstice packages. Not sure what's in them. Uh, six. Four more. If we use ghosts, does he show us? Usually he shows stuff like this, right? Kind of a feeling he doesn't. Hmm. Else it really wouldn't be hidden. Seven out of ten. Maybe on the islands. We did defeat somebody out there, so let's take a look. Eight out of ten. Minute and a half. Don't think there's something here. Nope. Nine out of ten. <laughs> They're fighting all the chests. 
They're finding all of the chests. Come on, get on there! Ah, you're wasting time. Holy hell. One more. Yeah, there's nothing here, dude. Just check the... Let's scatter the outside. Nine out of ten, come on. So yeah, we had ten mini bosses and we're getting ten chests. Yeah, but I'm not sure if that's um sounds logical, like the better you do at uh killing the mini bosses, the more chests that you can get. Ten out of ten chests found. Objective completed. Active summary. Alright, I think that was the quest. Let's head back to orbit. Okay, so uh, let's check quests and seasonal solstice. As you finish your exploration of the aerial zone, Ghost receives a message from Eva herself. She liked to speak to you at your earliest convenience. Visit Eva Levante in the tower. Eva. I lost Carlos and Maria. There was no one person I could blame for it. I thought that would make it easier. But, looking at you, I'm not so sure. So you're not sure you want to blame me for something which I was not a part of? <laughs> Let's take a look. Okay. But wait, there's more! Isn't it marvelous idea, Eva exclaims as you approach. An island in the sky, my goodness. When I was a little girl, I read stories about such things. But you guardians can actually make them real. The size. Uh, ah, she, she signs. <laughs> so bring as she offers you a gift, a set of ruined armor from the Red War. But of course, the solstice is more than just floating islands. Take this armor to the Statue of Heroes, dear. Try to think about everyone who came before you. Everyone who made it possible to stand here in this tower today. Except breed in and breed out quest step. Goodbye, dear. So she offers us armor. Let's check the quest step. What that says. So Eva suggested you take the drained armor she given you and meditate with it at the statue of the hero in the tower courtyard. So, yeah, let's uh, meditate. Ooh, reforged in the light, and we got Solstice Striders renewed, Solstice Strider vest, and then an armor, and we should already have the head, I think. So, what's next? Meditate that the statue has infused your new armor with the light, but it's connected to the traveler. Could be made stronger. Visit Evelavante. Okay. Approach. <laughs> How did it feel to celebrate your triumphs? I hope you took time to bask in every one of those moments. Each victory represents a time when your heroism kept us safe. Without you, there wouldn't be a last city to come back to. For that. We are eternally grateful. So first she wants to blame me. Continue to embrace glory as much as you'd like. It's our gift to you. So first she wants to blame me for something and now she wants to actually thank me. That's uh <laughs> Reforged in the light. You tell Eva about your meditation, she nods. The greatest thing we can do to honor those we've lost is to live well and be our best selves. Take that armor, go out into the world, reforge it, make it into a symbol of something strong, proud and beautiful. Solstice of Heroes 2020 from the Ashes. Strengthen your renewal solstice armor sets connection to the light by completing armor objectives. Okay. Ah, look at that. So yeah, EAZ run completed. So we need to do one run. And then precision final blows 50 and fallen defeated 100. Mobility 2, resilience 16, recovery 6, discipline 8, intellect 10, strength 6. Actually, pretty good. Let's uh, 
I'm not really sure if we need to equip them to actually do them. And then, yeah, let's get rid of the ones we really don't want. Oh, this actually only has three perks. So mobility, resilience, and recovery. Recovery is really good. Resilience is pretty, pretty good as well. Whoa, we were not done yet checking out the gear. Uh, so we got a vest. Let's delete these two first. Let's make sure we don't delete the chest. So mobility, resilience, recovery, uh, discipline, and light strength. Yeah, okay. Combatants defeated in the EAZ 50. Uh, just orbs created. 400 orbs created. Holy hell. And then um, explosions on EAZ as... A I think that's explosions, that signal. I'm not really sure. On the EAZ as the um, yeah, subclass, 50. And then we have the boots as well, I do believe. Public events, five public events, 50 super kills, and opposing guardians defeated. Okay, so there's a whole lot of list of things we actually need to do. Um... To actually upgrade them. Uh, I'm gonna keep my armor uh, and we're gonna... Yeah, that's a, that's a whole list. Do we get a cloak as well? Oh, we got a cloak as well. The Solstice Cloak. Okay, so Adventure Strikes and Cruise Boat Gambit matches. I still need to do Gambit matches, so I think I'm gonna do those first for my weekly. Uh, and then Strikes, uh, we need uh, to create orbs as well and do five adventures. So yeah, uh, a whole lot of work to get the set towards the second part, I do believe. Because yeah, we kind of need to upgrade it to actually get get the... Well, actually need to do these quests of all, all these uh, objectives to actually upgrade it. So I guess they go from rare to legendary and then... Maybe they go to... Um, I'm not really sure if they keep keep being legendary or they keep being rare gear. Um, I guess we'll figure it out. So yeah, I'm gonna go into a whole farm to actually get these uh, done. And then once I uh, get them towards the next uh, next next level, um, I'll, I'll bring you guys back. Alright, all objectives done. I do have to say... That for the, uh, which one was it? I think the, it doesn't really matter. I needed to do five strikes. And I had done three strikes while I did one. Uh, I looked it up. Apparently, there is like, they, they changed it a little while back. Like they implemented the new, new code that said if you were going to do it on a second character, you get uh, increased, um, well... An increase, like if you do it on your first character, it should count as one strike one. If you do it on your second character, it should count as one strike being two. And if you do it on your third character, it should uh, count as one strike doing three strikes. Uh, but I am on my main character, I only have a warlock, and I really don't play that a lot, like actually at all. And well, I I got three strikes done while doing one, so this might actually be a really good time to actually farm it up. If that's uh, broken or not, I'm not really sure. But yeah, we have all our sets done and the new quest says... With your completed renewed Solstice Armor set equipped, return to the Statue of Heroes to meditate. So we're gonna need to visit the Statue of Triumphs to meditate. So let's meditate. Here they go. So yeah, they did change. So they're now majestic, and it seems they got some color as well. So let's quickly take a look, and our points did increase again. So yeah, we started with 48, uh, and now we're at 65, 75, 65, 85, and then uh, yeah. So we got all new. It does look, oh, and it's a full cloak to the bottom again. Uh, not completely to the bottom, but yeah, it does look good. Uh, the waistband, I'm not a fan of, but overall, little feather on the a feather on the top here. Yeah, it does. It does. It does look good. It does look good. Okay, so what now? Now we are going back into the farm, I guess. 
So elemental final blows 2000. Holy hell. Well, I'm if it is actually bugged, uh, like if I get for one elemental blow, I get three. Then that's going to be a time saver. Oh, big time saver. So 200 combatants defeated. Not really hard. Uh, final weapon final blows. Uh, explosion final blows or elemental final blows. I think that's the arc one. Uh, yeah, arc final blows. Then uh, heroic public events. Ten uh, place strike, playlist strikes, three hundred orbs. Cabal defeated three hundred. Ten gambit matches. Uh, well, alt kills. Final blow grenade. Final blows. Uh, strike playlist six hundred. Ability one hundred. Guardians defeated with a weapon a hundred. And then patrols EDZ. Uh, the EAZ 200 uh, orbs gathered and then 20 bosses. So yeah, uh, it's gonna be quite a farm, but I, I have the time, I have the time. Yeah, and they're actually, uh, look at that, they're 1050. So they're all 1050. I wonder if they all go to 1060 once they're uh, completed, like legendary. Holy hell, uh, yeah, <laughs> the farm was real, from uh, rare to, well, from rare to legendary, I think it took me three hours, plus minus, uh, from legendary to what follows next, uh, it took me, well, let's say 13 hours, so I've been, uh, I've been farming a lot, like, Everything you can do in this game from gambits till crucible till, um, well, not raids. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm lost for words, like how much I actually farmed. Uh, what was it? The Vanguard, uh, Vanguard Strikes. So I was kind of a little uh, confused at what I needed to do for certain uh, certain things. It said, for instance, for the helm, it said 200 combatants but it didn't specify the combatants. But if you actually check on the description, uh, it does say uh, defeat combatants with elemental damage, then defeat combatants in the European aerial zone. But it actually, if you look at the regular helmet, like if you look at it right now, it just said de defeat combatants. So if you're not sure where to look, just right click it and then it actually says where you need to kill them. So yeah, the second one I needed to do was European Aerial Zone, which was the last form I did for the boots and for the helmet. But yeah, I'm completely done. And I guess that means that we are gonna need to meditate again. Uh, let's quickly check our quests. That's the other page. Yeah, like I said, it's, uh, oh, uh, we did this one as well. There we go. Perfect. Uh, so yeah, with your complete renewed solstice armor set equipped to return to the statue of heroes to meditate. Okay, let's see uh, if there, I, I do believe there is a third farm that we're gonna need to do to actually uh, mastercraft these uh, armors. Because yeah, once they are mastercrafted, I do believe that's when the actual glow, they're supposed to glow, so... Yeah, let's meditate and let's see. Yeah, there, there we go. <laughs> oh, are we actually getting? No, 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 we're not getting a glow yet. So, Solstice Mass, Magnificent Helmet, uh, Master Nightfall. So let's quickly check on the right. Complete a Nightfall, the ordeal strike on Master difficulty. Uh, for the hands, we need complete a Nightmare Hunt on the moon. Okay. Uh, complete the Pit of Heresy Any on the moon. Here? Okay. Boots. Win matches in Trials of Cyrus. Oh. Well, that's kind of gonna be an issue. Because, uh, well, I need a, a, a pre-made group for that. So maybe I need to go back to... Um, go back to Discord and see if I can actually find a group that wants to do it. And then altars uh, defeat the final boss in the altars of Soto. Altars of Soto, I do believe that's on the moon as well. So a lot of quests on the moon. Let's quickly check uh, altars of Soto. Mysterious disturbance, nightmare hunt, nightmare slayer, scarlet keep. Yeah, 
Altar of Sorrow public event. Sorrow is harbor. The moon throughout the Sorrow is harbor. The hive performs nightmarish rituals event active. So gonna need to do that three times. And that's the Garden of Salvation on there. So yeah, still still some work to do before we can get them all shiny. Uh, let's quickly check the stats. So 63. Uh, that actually would be a downgrade versus the helmet I'm using right now because this one is 60, uh, 64 Then the hand 62. Yeah, that's a downgrade with five five points overall uh, What's this one 63 67 so yeah another downgrade with four points 62 62 so that's uh, the same one and then uh, yeah this one is 10 but I don't have any mod in here so yeah the mods give the 10 points that's why this one is at 72 this one is at 77 and this one is at 77 this one is at 74 so overall they give actually a downgrade so I do wonder if the max stats if we actually complete them uh, if they are gonna go up, I do believe with master crafting if we completely master craft them uh, Fully upgrading this armor to masterwork provides a bonus to all stats uh, But if the total base that it's gonna give before we master craft them It's actually gonna be a downgrade and if I look on the overall of the statistics uh, There's a lot of strength in here. and I don't really like a lot of strengths uh, really low recovery Meaning that I'm gonna need to put recovery and everything. The base jump is pretty okay. I usually have it around 50. Uh, resilience around 50. Then recovery around 80. Um, and then usually intellect I have around 60 or 70-ish. So yeah, a lot of strength is not something that I really, really Making like. Yeah, we still have a farm to do. So chat. I'm gonna keep myself busy. Just look at these shiny shoulders. So yeah, I've uh, done one. Uh, I already forgot the name. <laughs> so I went to the moon, did the easiest part first. So I did a nightmare hunt, uh, anguish hunt. Uh, it's pretty simple, like it's a, it's 10 minutes-ish, like really fast run to defeat a boss. Uh, but apparently there are some new stuffs we are gonna need to do. We're gonna need to do the deepening wake. To actually unlock, what was it again? Um, so yeah, we're gonna need to do a nightfall on Master. I'm gonna need to find a group for that one. Uh, we did the shoulders, it's actually done, but I'm not sure if we can upgrade it yet. It says complete and we got the glow, but it's still at 62 uh, stat points. And I really, really wonder if it's gonna increase or not. Uh, the Pit of Heresy is uh, basically something we need to unlock and for that we're gonna need to do another quest. Uh, we're gonna need to do Trials of Osiris, something I haven't done as well, and then the Altars of Soto. I am not really sure that I did that before. But yeah, apparently there's a lot. Uh, I'm still in. Uh, Eva Levante has a quest as well. So yeah, we're gonna have a lot to do uh, that we haven't done yet in uh, Destiny 2. So I'm keep, gonna keep that for another episode. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you want to see more of my quest progression, uh, just hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.